Hello everybody and welcome back to our previously Zodoy Hole campaign, where is now Soy Dalasat. At the moment, we are trying to get rid of the wild hunt over here, and we are purging two races at the same time. Purging ogres and the filthy centaurs. Multi-track dimensional purging, stuff like that. Anyways, we still just have this little bit from Akalsis that we need to get taken care of. We have a truce with him, and we have a truce with Wild Hunt. See, as you can tell. Look at this, right off, right onto the mainland from our island. Finally getting rid of him. I am going to get rid of some, well, actually seize some land. Probably should have moved some troops up there first, but we have so much land. In the first place, so. I don't think any of them are actually really raising the autonomy. Yeah, most of them are in territories. That's good. And thank you for the person in the comments that was telling me about courthouses. I forgot about most of them. Which will help with our governing capacity. And also reduce state maintenance, which honestly isn't that bad most of the time. Let's get some more generals. And I realize how busted we're going to be if we can finish offensive ideas and have it nine generals at the same time. That will be ridiculous. And we're still going to get more generals the further down we go down the tree. Which is actually going to take a while to go down that tree. Let's just make him that. Because... The next point, after killing off the wild hunt, we have to make sure there's no breathing centaur in the entirety of the plains. The Forbidden Lands, I mean. Which is, uh, it's gonna take a very long time, especially since we're still colonizing. Yeah, we need to take care of these guys. Those of those done. Good, he just suicided. Let's get this all figured out. Just a minor autonomy increase for now. They are reducing my crown land, but we will get that back. Get you done. A little bit more over here. As long as we don't go down past 25%, which we won't, it will be fine. First ogres purged completely over here. Goodbye. And Sarion wants to be a friend, but I don't honestly care. There we go. There goes that little... Oh, wait. What's this? For years of intensive operation, the last block of Dame Seer has been mined. The gigantic mine of Rajansvi, once teeming with life and activity, is now empty of any presence. We actually had... Oh, wow! There's coal over there, but we actually had a Dame Steer mine. Which wasn't exactly the best. And it was actually a rich one, too. Oh, wow! Huh. Sad day for the local economy. Yeah, what's going to be put there next? We are now mining question marks. Interesting. Naval supplies. Awesome. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Let's get you guys moved down this way. Okay. That's way too much money. I think our truce with the wild hunt is almost up. So we'll get on that a lickety split as soon as we get this all figured out over here. No other rebellions, it's just, you know, all of our states are pissed at us. Hopefully next time we get our little parliament, we can get the crown land one, which is really good. But we are severely over our governing capacity. 
I honestly wish the courthouses did like way more, but I don't know, maybe that was like a kind of nerf that they put on. But I heard the next update, they're actually going to show how much it does for you. Like it would say like minus this and then governing cost change. I might as well keep going with it. And there's no reason to really do the trade buildings or anything because we basically have full control of all of these nodes over here. Only thing left is the wild hunt. Maybe over here I might do it. Or down here, because a lot of people are pulling from it. And I feel like this is where my trade capital is going to be. Not sure yet. Zirkenrek is growing. Business of Satin. That's good. Yeah, it just increased a lot of the devastation as well, which is bad. We're going for a stable island over here. I think I actually stated all of these. Honestly, I don't mind it if we go over. I'd rather have these as prosperous states instead of just sitting here doing nothing. Yeah. I could have sworn that there was water blocking this off. Oh well. I have no idea. Alright, yeah, I think that's the entirety of the island. States. Should really have this as a button. There we go. Nope. You and you. There we go. And I will take all of that glorious money. And we can build more stuff. Like manufactories. All in the major cities. We can now give parliaments to the Great Canal. Who else? <laughs> I guess that was pretty much it for now. We're gonna have to figure it out. City of the Dead can get a parliament. Okay, that's good. I want to take this before it gets too expensive to take the tech. And there we go, we now have the Chamber Demi Cannons, because uh, in 1544, Emperor Charles V declared that... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know who Charles is. I do know about a Barden Targoon, though. He is our president. And we are going to declare on these filthy centaurs. Going to do anti-monstrous, because, like, why not? I wish it reduced cost, but... Oh well, it doesn't. Let's see where these filthy centaurs pop out from. They're coming this way. They are pretty fast, because they are all horses. Actually, no, they actually have cannons, funny enough. Hopefully we'll be able to catch one of them. Oh well, I mean, you guys can just run around. It's fine with me. A revolt over here, an ogre revolt. Yeah. We're just gonna siege you down. It doesn't matter at this point. Your attempts are meaningless. And I won't take that much, because your total is 172, so I'll probably take 80. 80 or 88. Because that just makes it so the truce timer is shorter, so I could just come in and full annex you later without having to wait the full time. Which is... I'm pretty sure I'm understanding that correctly, right? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, let's go here and here. But this is just beating a dead horse, literally, at this point. So, uh, 84%. I don't need your filthy money. There goes that. Pour all of it. Actually, what is this? Holy shit! What the? The coffee capital of the world? I wasn't even paying attention. 50 development? I mean, I've played as the centaurs before and I realized, wow, they can get a lot of dev in their capital. But, like, 
Oh my goodness. That's actually a ton. Alright, anyways. Let's move these troops down here. Get everybody situated. Wow. Insanity. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's a really good province right there. Hopefully we can purge it of these non-deserving centaurs. We're still getting a ton of inflation as well. Probably you over here, yeah. My beautiful gold mine. I will never forget about this hot potato gold mine province. And it sucks because the more we colonize, the more centaurs we're going to have to purge. Which is, you know, a good thing. But it sucks because we can't really move down the missions yet. And when do we get imperialism? Isn't it like tech 23? So I can't really do much. Could start fabricating claims, why not? I think one of our missions actually is to get friends. Well, after the prosperous one. You can go for military again. And turn this off, so it's kind of even. As soon as I did that, our statesman died. Oh well, let's get trade efficiency instead. Change you to national tax, try to get some money. Buff you. Oh, you're a filthy centaur, okay. Can't upgrade you. Let's get another general. Might just take you out, why not? Actually, you guys are reformed. Yeah, I can't just immediately attack you. Huh. Take the last of that, and there we go. The Age of Unraveling is finished. And we are on our way to the Age of Witch Kings, which I don't know what a king is. But, eh. Oh well. And you have no friends, so I'll start fabricating on you. It just sucks because, like... It's just so much easier to just kill monsters. It feels like imperialism, but better. Don't take that out of con don't take that out of context, please. There goes that. So one of our missions is to develop you over here. There goes some more ogres. Yeah, developing you over here, but you're not part of a state. We need to focus on. Increasing government capacity. But it's kind of hard as a republic. Thank you for the stab loss. Well, actually, republics get a lot of reform progress. I wonder once we get down here, I might start putting points in for governing capacity. Where was that? Okay. Honestly, I don't know how to feel about the governing capacity stuff, but, well, something to deal with. Honestly, it just hurts money, stability, poor creation costs, kind of, ugh. Aggressive expansion doesn't really matter for us that much. We just really gotta hunker down and get things situated over here. Alright, Crownland is ready to pop off again. This time I will be smart and move some troops up. We don't really need these troops here anyway. And it's going to be even worse because all the minorities over here too. For the whole wrong neighborhood. And no more breathing centaurs. They count as well because if I click this. See all of the purple outlines? That's where all the centaurs are. So they need to be completely exterminated. Which is fun, but it's going to take a very long time. Let's get rid of you. Get you moved this way, take you out. It said that Jadari was going to do something. Jadari is... <laughs> Defender of the Jad Faith. Okay. More centaurs. 
And it's good, since all of them are fleeing, they're just gonna flee to the wild hunt. I'm just afraid that they might flee to other countries. Nah, I don't want any of you, I want money. Okay, good, you're Mixomic. We will pick you up. Yeah. Actually, we're making a ton of money now. Only thing hurting us is being over the governing capacity. We're gonna get our points back though, don't worry about it. Since our majority flees over here. I just want this to be cleared up. Because coffee right now is booming. I can't wait, look at that. <laughs> uh oh. You got discovered, that's fine. You come back. Axale's got discovered as well, that's fine. And I want to see all of Jadar. Because he does have permanent claims over here. Maybe he should be something to be afraid of. Yeah, there they go. Start clearing these guys out more. We're just. Right now, we're trying to just centralize everything. Get it all figured out. Yeah, we just, we just dipped below low crown land again. Honestly, I might just start building forts everywhere. Because at the moment, it's really just us fighting ourselves at this point. Nice, our leader is well connected. Alright. All of you situated. I'm just not sure where to go to next. Maybe I will kill the dwarves. Or maybe I should just wait for now. No, I don't want any of that. New parliament. None of that. Let's get you out of here. Filthy rebels. Hmm. None of these seem good to me at all. Actually, you know what? I might just spend money to just put forts in all the main provinces over here. I mean, when are these buildings going to upgrade? 22. Hmm. Alright. Culture conversion. You can do concessions to the clergyman. Yeah, let's do that. Need some money, appease some reactionaries. No crown land, that's nasty. Bribe you and admin. Yay, now the clergy like us again. And we are right on the cusp. Ooh, that's terrible. There goes the Age of Witch Kings. And something funny I just noticed is that we have a national land force limit modifier because the ogres over here built up their capital. I don't know how they got that, but... Hmm. It really makes you think. People just love giving us free stuff. Alright. What's a good fort over here? That's not that good. This is a good fort, though. Yeah. I just do regular castles for now. One in here, one in here, maybe one right off of here. So just all the cities aren't in good places for forts. You guys think you're so clever trying to do this? Actually, how is global trade going over here? Some hefty auto saves going on. No. Uh, institution is not spreading that well. 
Actually, the Doyle Hole itself, our beautiful previous capital, is about to accept it, like, right now. <laughs> yeah, we were just swimming in money. I remember the start of this when I was just hurting for it. Just wondering if I should build up better stacks or not. Bigger, I mean. Or should I just do 24s everywhere? I can get you. Yeah. Hello, friend. Goodbye. Maybe once we border Jadar, we'll be able to see some more things. Who knows? I'm gonna fabricate a claim over here. Yeah, we're doing really good. Especially with the trade capital being here. Get money coming in this way. Money going down this way. Maybe I should... For free money. Maybe I should... Yeah, eventually I'll move my capital down to here. Maybe... Yes, this. Whatever that says. Wild Hunt ends in eight years. Actually, Almdir has no allies at all. Maybe I could take them on. Teach these dwarves what for. Honestly, yeah. You know what? I'll start moving everybody that way then. It just sucks because the dwarves are being really bad in this. Their capital is still Orkish majority. They should have purged it. So this entire time they haven't been debbing it at all. Alright, there goes that. Welcome to the Soy Dalasat. Enjoy your stay, because you're going to have to anyway. Damn centaurs. Huh. I'm going to move my troops over here too. I still find it insane that we can still have nine leaders. And it's only going to get worse. Hopefully I can clean you up. 137? Are you serious? How? Like, how is this not one war's worth? That's insane. Like, what is helping you? Oh, yeah. Merchant kills are at 100%. Oof. And that is a disaster that's probably going to happen. Loyalty is below 48. Hmm. What doesn't give them influence, but gives them happiness? Hmm. We could do one of these. I could do Monopoly on paper. We're gonna have to revoke it. I could do this. Yeah, I could do this. I don't know, tolerate more, even though we can't <laughs> tolerate more than we already are. We might actually have a plutocratic coup. Nah, it stops. Okay, good. I'm going to start moving towards finishing this. Just finish one of our ideas, the price of a mile. Many other countries ask what the price of a mile is, a way to discourage war and the ensuing devastation. Our soldiers, however, know damn well what the price is and are ready to pay it tenfold for the glory of the Federation. This is actually a really good idea. Morale of armies and reduce morale damage taken. I wonder if it stacks with um, 
this over here. I'm pretty sure this still has it, right? Yeah, reduce morale damage taken by reserves. Is it going to be additive or multiplicative? I'm not sure. Anyways, we have a free policy for advisor cost. Good for us. I'm purging some more ogres. So yeah, we're getting rid of the Feast of the Gods for the Fat Hides. Start moving down Admin a little bit too, as well. We would actually get like almost 3,000 ducats if we give them Crown Land. I don't really see a point. Let's just keep spanning these out. Yeah, no point in doing trade. Get some tax going. There goes that revolt. Okay, good. Yeah, this sucks. I didn't expect them to get their war costs up. Oh, I know why. It's because the age switched and we don't have the... The what's it called? Well, you can get admin efficiency here, but we don't have the, what's it called, the reduced cost against other religion stuff, which sucks, but hey, we're getting a ton of stuff. Actually, before I declare war on the dwarves over here, I'm going to end this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.